Hello, and welcome to day two of the first draft diaries. So it is Saturday and <laughs> I notice how she practices piano on her thigh, imagining the keys inside her mind. Does she notice the things I notice? How her eyes wander the room when it gets quiet. Anyway, I'm Alyssa, I write books. I am 2,800 words into the first draft of Project Sunshine. Here's the mood board. What I'm doing today is I'm gonna go to somewhere, I think probably Barnes & Noble is where I'm leaning right now, maybe a coffee shop. And I'm gonna actually do some more outlining of this book. I wanna stay like roughly six or seven scenes ahead of where I'm writing. And like, I wanna go to a coffee shop this morning and write, but I don't have anything dictated to edit through. So I'm like, well, I could just like spend a little bit of time outlining further, which is what I'm, what's what the plan is. At some point in the next few days, I'm gonna be erasing all of this, which is <laughs> criminal. This is for Project Gas Station, which if you're new, I have like three playlists on this channel covering that. Anyway, so, I will be erasing this and then I don't know if I, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with them yet but I was thinking of either doing like some character work on those whiteboards or potentially some save the cat work although I don't know if I'm gonna do that on a whiteboard or I might just stick to my like Scrivener document to do that with but I would like to dive into character and like cause and effect a little bit so I could see doing that here I could also see tracking my word count on this because I realized I have not been tracking anywhere because I'm not actually doing anything. Like I haven't signed up for any challenge or anything like that. So, but anyway, that's will maybe happen today, but I am going to go to, to the Barnes and Noble. And also I need to go to, I just like need to run an errand quick, which is, okay, does this happen to anyone else where you run out of all of the expensive household things at the same time? Like, tell me why in the last week I've run out of my coffee grounds, dishwasher pods, toilet paper, laundry detergent, floss. There was something, trash bags. Like all of those are like $10 purchases. Like this is gonna like it bankrupt me. So I have to go to Walmart, then I'll come back. And I'm thinking kind of the afternoon, I'm gonna do another dictation. I know I said yesterday my goal is to hit the 50,000, but I think I'm gonna have more of a daily goal of 2,500 words. Um, I don't know what the total of that would be, but I might have days where I need to catch up on editing through the dictation, um, which I did yesterday. I'm dictating the book, but I'm also going back and then editing through each day. And that's actually working really well. Um, it does break up the flow like the teensiest bit, but I was talking to Brielle and Cody about it yesterday and it's actually really nice because I'm intermingling like the fun part of dictation and then the editing through, which is like not as fun. Whereas last year, my whole second draft was just editing through dictation, which was like so miserable because I'm not creating anything and I'm not solving any problems and I'm not actually like doing anything. I'm just like transcribing essentially. And so it's really nice. Well, I mean, we're on day two, so who knows if it's going to be nice forever, but to like intermix that with the fun dictation and then the editing through. And also it's kind of nice too because editing through fresh dictation, it can be kind of like an admin sort of task, like similar to like checking your email or like doing the dishes. Like it's not something where I'm actively thinking super hard about it at this point because the dictation's so fresh. So I'm not trying to figure out what the words mean. I'm just like putting in commas and deleting weird periods and all that stuff. That's how it's, that's been going well, uh, again. <laughs> Check in with me on day 15.
the girl boss murderer books have gone out of control. Why are the, why is there a whole table for girl boss murderer books? I did purchase, okay. Listen, I, I've read one girl boss murderer book and it was called How to Kill a Guy in 10 Dates. And here's the thing. I think some girl boss murderer books are slay. I think the struggle is they try to be funny, but then also have the main character be a serial killer, which is like, I get that that is like new and fresh and trendy these days, but I don't love that. Like, I don't love like, oh, murder is actually cute and funny if you're a sexy man or a sexy woman or you're quirky. Like, I feel like we are devaluing life a little bit with that and I don't love that. <laughs> but amongst the table of girl boss murderer books, which are all called like, date to hell, like, <laughs> how well I'll kill you is actually the one that I got. And I was picking up the back just to like read it, just to see what the vibes were. And it seems like her whole family is murderers, but she and show she's supposed to go murder this guy, but then she falls in love with him. And I'm like, that's more the vibes that I want. And I actually think it could be kind of a comp to Project Sunshine, which is not a girl boss murderer book, but that seems to be very on trend right now. I just wish more of the girl boss murderer books, which are like, I like them because they're like, oh, like funny. But then I'm like, why is, why? I don't love following killers who are like, if you have an interesting backstory and like, like there's actual character depth and we like treat the death seriously, I'm fine with it. But the problem is most of these girl boss murderer books like don't treat death very seriously at all. They kind of treat it like it's like, oh, every man deserves to die. And I'm like, girl, what? <laughs> what? And it always starts off like the first guy they kill is like really, really horrible person. But still, I don't know if murder is always the answer. Anyway, like it kind of walks the line of like, are we devaluing like that actual period? People do experience this in the real world. Like that bothers me a little bit. But anyway, the outlining is good. Turns out I actually, this happens sometimes where if I've been ruminating on a book for a little bit, then the outline just kind of pours out of me like it was already in me, which I kind of felt like it would be. So I'm through, honestly, up until the all is lost in my outline. Um, and I'm just going to give it a break to like have a couple more pieces put into place up here, you know, but yeah, it was really good. I want to do my author tube shout outs for today. I'm going to do two because the first one you're going to be like, Alyssa, everyone already follows her. <laughs> but I wanted to shout out Heart Breathings, Sarah Cannon over at Heart Breathings. Um, because if you're looking for an alternative to NaNoWriMo, or if you're looking for some sort of challenge with a lot of like community and content, the, she's doing like the rough draft challenge where you can like pick your own goal and everything. And she has like a website set up. Um, but Heart Breathings, like Sarah Cannon, she always just has really, really inspirational, great content. She just had a book out this last month. I, I watch her a lot. Like I think she has a really nice balance of inspiration, but also like reality. So yeah, um, she's also doing daily vlogs. So I have to admit, that's what like inspired me to do the first draft diaries. Hers are called the rough draft diaries. They used to be called the NaNoWriMo Diary. You, you know, you know the deal. So I am taking on, I feel like I should at least give her credit because this was something I watched her do and I was like, I'm doing that. You can't stop me, world. I love it. I wait every day for them to come out. I live for the, for the Rough Draft Diaries. And so yes, I sh I'm paying homage to her. Definitely go check her out. She also has a lot of like, if you're maybe newer to writing, a lot of like how to plot a novel. And if you sign up for her newsletter, which is like totally free, there's like all these resources for plotting and outlining and like making a plan for like whatever challenge you're doing, making a plan for a new draft, preptober. Like she does a lot of content and workbooks like that. So, but I'm also gonna shout out a smaller creator too. And today's gonna be Dami. So I found Dami recently and she is, I just, I just love every video she has. And like every word she says, I'm like, that's exactly how do you know what is going on in my head? Like she's so funny. Um, she does a lot of like sit down, more chatty videos. Um, and she, I believe, has an, a literary agent. So she's on the traditional publishing side if you're looking for more of that content. And she is so great. So go give Dami a follow. Um, I believe she's a little bit newer to the author tube space, but I love every video she comes out with. So those are my author tube shout outs for the day. So I'm gonna go to Walmart and then go home and then actually start the writing for the day. Um, but I'm feeling really good. I was having this moment where I was like, what if I finish this book like before November ends, which would be wild. But 
Oh, this is the other thing, is I set up an account in Pacemaker, which is like a word count tracking site, just to like track my words. So I made a goal for 75,000 words for the month, which is about 2,500 words a day. So I set that up so I can kind of just track my words somewhere. I've been wanting to track just like generally my words um, so that I have a little bit more stats of like, how much do I actually write? How many hours actually goes into a book? Because I think that's something I don't track very often. This is a very productive, Barnes & Noble Cafe session, except for the coffee and the food was bad, like, sorry. Cause it's one of those where it's like, I don't know if this is the same for every Barnes & Noble, but it's like a Starbucks, but it's not actually because they like don't take any gift cards or really make the same things. Like they have the same things, but they're not like actually the brand, which is fine. But like my, my like pastry was really stale and my coffee was really bad. So <laughs> kind of a wash. But that's okay to be. Oh, I also got this other book. Sorry, I'm just gonna keep talking forever. It's called, Have You Eaten Grandma? Or Have You Eaten Grandma? It's about um, punctuation, grammar, and good English and the importance of it. And I hope that it has some practical application. It looks like it does. Because I need to be better at sentences. Like I can get by, but I wanna be, I'm getting, I'm getting to this point in my so-called career, which hasn't begun yet, but I'm I'm starting it myself. Um, no, I've been writing for five years very seriously, so I do have a career, even though I've made zero money, but that's fine. Um, I wanna be good at everything. Like, I wanna be proficient and solid at everything. Um, obviously, I know I have strengths and weaknesses and like not everything is gonna be great, but I wanna be at a place where like, I have a mastery of grammar in English. It might not be my favorite thing or my best thing, but I can do it and I know it and I, I'm strong in that, you know? And so I'm gonna try to incorporate more learning. I'm thinking probably more in the new year, <laughs> but I saw it and I was like, might as well. started the bread. Listen, you might be thinking to yourself, Alyssa, do you eat a loaf of bread every day? No, sometimes, but I really love making bread on writing days because it has to sit for an hour and then you do a little, and then it sits for another hour and then it bakes for a half hour and then it bakes for 40 minutes. So there's a lot of good like built-in sprints. Uh, anyway, we're getting into the actual writing for today. I'm gonna make my sprint on the wall. So my first sprint, I'm gonna do 10, 15 minutes. And I'm guessing that'll probably be around a thousand words. I'd like it to be less, but I just need to finish out this chapter. So I'm actually just gonna like end the sprint whenever I finish the chapter, but I'll just set a 10 minute timer just to have something, you know? Cause I really do think I'm almost done with Elias's first like chapter one. I just need to like cinch it, you know? And then um, I'm probably gonna jump right into sprint two. Just take like a moment of a break, which I'm gonna do 25 minutes. I'm gonna estimate probably Let's do 1800 words. No, let's do 15 because this is the first scene in Greer's POV. So, um, and it's kind of, it's one of those scenes, I don't really know where it's gonna go. All I have, um, I'm not gonna share like a crazy amount about this book, but since I'm in like the opening chapters, it's like, and I do, I am gonna share quite more than I maybe have in the past, but I'm not gonna give away anything. Um, all I have for this chapter is she's at work and has a date later that night and introduce like where she works. So there's a lot of ways I can do that. And I'll, we'll just kind of see when I start dictating what happens. But that one, I'm gonna guess 1500 words. Um, and then I'll maybe do another, maybe another 15 minute sprint. I'll kind of see where I'm at word count wise because I want to make sure to get to 2800. And I'd, actually, I'd really like to finish Greer's chapter. So it'll kind of depend, but I'm gonna do tentatively another 15 minute. And then that would leave me at 
like over 3,000 words, which I'm gonna warn you, it's probably gonna be more, three, like 3,000 words I remember being my average last year, but I also was not editing. So um, then I'm gonna come and I'm gonna edit through all of that. But I think I'm gonna try to do it like while doing something else. So here's what I mean. I have, um, you might notice I don't ever do anything except for work. That's a lie. I like, I think I watch a lot of like YouTube, but I, I'm not watching any shows. I'm not reading any books at this moment. And I haven't for about a month now because I've been so in my drafts. And I love to be there, truly I do. And I mean like every once in a while, I'll be at my parents and we'll be watching a show, but I'm not really like consuming anything super regularly that's not like vlogs. And AuthorTube, like I love, I will watch AuthorTube all day long, but I'm typically watching it like while I'm at work working or while I'm making food. Like it's not like a sit down and watch kind of experience typically. Um, and I think it would maybe be good for me to like, watch something intentionally or like listen to something intentionally, which I haven't really been doing. So my thought is maybe tonight I'll put like my projector on because I also don't have a TV in my house, which I'm glad for because I will, I will be that girl to just sit down and watch TV for five years in a row. So I am fine with not having a TV, but I do have a projector. So I might like make a cute little like cozy dictate or editing session like watching a movie or watching a show or something so it's kind of what i'm thinking let's write this thing It's not even seven yet, which is bananas. So it took me a lot longer to start writing. The actual writing itself took 20 minutes. I'm at, I think, 3,000 words for the day, probably, something like that. I have not edited through them yet. Um, I ended up just having to do some random things. So I have not edited through, and that's kind of what I'm gonna do now. I'm really debating like going to Target quick because it's only seven it's not like it's actually late did I tell you when I went to Walmart it was $80 to buy let me tell you what I bought mouthwash shampoo and conditioner floss picks a digital thermometer like a little dinky thermometer and did I say mouthwash already that no yeah and like a little face razor $80 80 dollars 80 and for what so i'm annoyed about that Hi, ending the video here. Um, I'm on Heart Breathings as Sarah Cannon's. Um, oh, speaking of which, uh, she's doing some live sprints. I know they do like a ton of those over there. So, and I also just self plug myself there. So if you're here from that, hello. <laughs> um, I'm watching Project Runway because it is everything to me. And that'll be it for this video. I will see you tomorrow. I got, um, I have not finished editing through all of the words yet, but I think I'm just gonna start with that tomorrow and then continue writing from there. So going strong, I'm at about 5,000 words roughly um, for November so far. So here's to another day. Comment down below a pink heart emoji and I'll see you tomorrow.